Hey everybody, John Wagdon here with Dev Central, and in this video we're going to talk about the Nginx production grade Kubernetes solution. So we've talked a lot about modern applications in this whole journey. We've talked about container, containerized applications and Kubernetes and, as an orchestration um, you know, framework. And so now we want to talk about production grade Kubernetes. So Kubernetes platforms make it easy to get up and running quickly with your applications. Uh, but many times they focus on breadth of service and not necessarily the depth of service. So while you may get all the services you need, you're, you're unlikely to, to get all of the feature sets that you need for true production readiness at scale. You know, so these things need to scale out, right? Um, and specifically, a lot of times Kubernetes does not uh, focus on advanced networking and security. And so we need to add a few more components in order to make a, uh, you know, this, this Kubernetes solution truly production grade. So again, you've, you know, you've built out your, let's say you've built out your new application, it's a modern application, or maybe you're transitioning from a legacy, um, but you need to keep these things in mind that we'll talk about here today. So just to draw out a picture, um, you have users who are accessing your application and it's built in a Kubernetes uh, cluster. And so um, the Kubernetes cluster has, you know, the, uh, the, the, ing the ingress point, which, which we'll talk about here in a second, but let's say you have, you know, a few different services, uh, you know, established here. So service one, um, service two, and these services have pods that, you know, back these. And we talked about, you know, the, the services are um, in, in many ways just an abstraction of, of, of a variety of pods that perform the same function. And so then that becomes the service. But then again, these pods have the containers in them, right? And, in many cases, there's one container per pod, although we talked about in a previous video, the sidecar proxy, uh, which may, you know, which, which is a different container that sits in the same pod. Um, so you, uh, you get the point here, there's all these pods that, you know, that uh, make up the services that are in the Kubernetes cluster. And so the first thing that I wanted to talk about in, in order to get that production grade Kubernetes solution is that you need a scalable ingress, egress, this north-south traffic uh, tier to get traffic in and out of the cluster. And so this is accomplished with an ingress controller. And Nginx makes a production grade ingress controller. So I'm just gonna put um, Nginx ingress, ingress controller right here. I'll just put controller like that, all right? So Nginx ingress controller is the ingress point, ingress egress point into and out of the Kubernetes cluster, right? So this, uh, the ingress controller is a specialized load balancer. It abstracts away the complexity of the, of the Kubernetes networking, um, and it bridges between services within the cluster, uh, and then also those outside the cluster. So let's say you have services that are that you know reside outside this Kubernetes. <clears throat> Maybe again you're transitioning away from a legacy, you know, monolithic type architecture, those kinds of things. Um, but the the component, the ingress controller, becomes what I'll call production grade when it includes features. Uh, that increase resiliency. So like, for example, advanced health checks uh, can be accomplished here, uh, Prometheus metrics, things like that. Uh, so increase resiliency. And then also uh, when it enables rapid scalability, so like dynamic reconfiguration, um, and also when it supports uh, self-service. So like role-based access control, RBAC, uh, could happen here, which, ingress, which the Nginx ingress controller can do all of that. So Nginx provides this production grade ingress controller. So that's the first uh, piece that we'll talk about here in, in terms of making your Kubernetes solution production grade, production ready, right? Um, the second thing I'll mention is uh, built-in security to protect against threats throughout the Kubernetes cluster, right? So, you know, a lot of times people will uh, approach security with what I'll call a, a coarse grain security uh, you know, a security that's just going to try to cover everything all at once, right? And so, you know, while that may be good and there are certain threats that may be present for the entire population of this Kubernetes cluster, uh, the truth is that many of these services require a different level or a different, you know, um, focus of security than other services, right? And so you need to be able to get that fine-grained security within your Kubernetes cluster, and this is accomplished um, uh, well, by, uh, by implementing a web application firewall, and Nginx has a web application firewall called the Nginx App Protect. And you can deploy that right here. I'll just put Nginx App Protect. It can be deployed right on the ingress controller, 
And so for those, you know, for those threats that are going to be true or, or that would affect the entire cluster, maybe like, you know, OWASP top 10 type threats like, you know, injection attacks or cross-site scripting or those kinds of things, you can define a, a web application firewall, the Nginx app protect policy here on the Ingress controller that takes care of all of those kind of, you know, multi-function, multi-user based attacks or threats. But then let's say your application runs, you know, a variety of services and maybe one of the services needs a, you know, a bit more tuning or a, a finer grain, you know, sensitivity uh, in terms of the, uh, the policy that's defined for that service. So, you know, if this is like a, you know, like maybe a billing service where you're doing, you know, financial transactions, well then you can actually deploy the Nginx App Protect here um, as a web application firewall, uh, as a per, uh, per service proxy. And so um, this, let's say service one is, a, is like a billing service, like I said, some kind of financial thing. Then you can deploy the Nginx App Protect web application firewall as a per service proxy that would cover all of the pods. And let's say that there's you know, multiple pods here uh, within this service. This Nginx App Protect web application firewall can be deployed at the service level that would cover all of the pods, right? And then the other place that you could deploy it, so not only here on the Ingress controller, not only as a per service proxy, but you can deploy it as a per pod proxy. So let's say you have within this, you have pod here, let's say you have you know, another pod here and a variety of pods, then you can deploy Nginx App Protect at every one of these locations, right? So, um, so you have a tremendous amount of flexibility over where the web application firewall is deployed and then the policies that it would, you know, that, that, would, that, that, uh, that it would protect in terms of the, uh, you know, the pod or the service or the ingress into the entire cluster. Um, and so again, you can deploy at one or more of those places and all of this is configurable and automated and it, you know, it dives, it, it, uh, it integrates right in to the whole Kubernetes, uh, you know, uh, universe, the whole, this whole orchestrated environment. And so it's, uh, it's a very, very powerful web application firewall and security solution here with Nginx App Protect as the, as the web application firewall. All right, so that's the second thing. The, the third and the last thing that I'll mention is a scalable east-west traffic tier to optimize traffic within the cluster, right? So here's the Kubernetes cluster, and I'll just put a big box around this whole thing now, right? So we've got the ingress control, that's the north-south traffic that's coming into and out of the entire cluster, but now we need that east-west uh, optimized traffic within the cluster, and that's where the, and I'll just put it right here, engine X service mesh comes in, right? So Nginx has a service mesh and it would be, you know, deployed across all of the services within the, <clears throat> excuse me, within the cluster. And so this, uh, this orchestration tool provides an even finer grained traffic management and security to these application services within the cluster, right? And so it does a lot of things. I know we had a whole video on what is a service mesh. Um, with mutual TLS and, and a variety of things that the service mesh actually does. But the point here is that Nginx provides and has a production grade service mesh that you can deploy across here. So you've got, um, you've got these, these three components that are critical to really uh, provide that production ready um, uh, application or production ready Kubernetes solution. And so with all of this, you get the automation that you're looking for, you get your applications to market faster and safer, you get security, you protect your customers and your business from existing and emerging, uh, emerging threats, uh, you get the performance that you're looking for, so you deliver the digital experiences to your customers and, and your users, the things that they expect. Uh, you also get insight, you get the visibility um, into all of this between the ingress controller, the service mesh, you know exactly what applications are being uh, used for uh, you know the specific user request, and so you get that insight, that visibility that's so critical to know what's going on within the cluster here. So, uh, so again, Nginx provides the ingress controller, the web application firewall via the Nginx App Protect, and then the service mesh to give you a true production-ready Kubernetes solution. So all of this happens with one tool, Nginx, you don't have a bunch of tool sprawl as well. So it's all, it's all in one, one tool. So, uh, so that's, a, that's a great thing as well. So I hope you've uh, learned a couple things about the Nginx 
uh, production grade Kubernetes solution here today. So hey, if you like this video, and in fact, if you like this whole journey that we've been on together, uh, make sure you click up here on our Dev Central logo and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you guys out there in the community.